Hello everyone. Today I will try to explain how to use Canary Progressive Delivery with Flagger and Distil. You can find a lot of information about Flagger and Distil from official page, which I opened here. Really, it's a lot of documentation, huge documentation you can find from here. I will not say anything about uh, which part and components which I have used in my GitHub repo. I mean, horizontal pod scaling and deployment of usage, you can open the manifest file and read from there. It's really tons of the information you can find in official page of the Kubernetes and Google. That's why I will not explain each of them, but I will explain most of part of deployment. I have installed and configured Flagger with Load Tester tool together and Flagger kind of custom resource definition which comes to our Kubernetes after deployment of Flagger. Oh, but before that, I want to explain what does it mean progressive delivery in Canary deployment. Canary deployment comes with Istio and it helps us split our traffic with some defined person between old and new Docker images. Just imagine we have v001 and new version is v002, which comes to our Kubernetes cluster. And we want to deploy our application with Canary way. I mean, after deploy of v002, we can say, for example, please switch 10% of the traffic to new version v002 and keep all 10, 90% of the traffic in the old version uh, 001, I mean. After some time, if everything will be good, and not failures with the new version, then increase percent of the traffic from two, 10 to 20 to V002 and decrease from nine, 90 to 80 for V001. If everything will be good, we will increase and decrease tra traffic between new and old versions. But if something went wrong, we can easily return back all traffic from new version 002 to the old one 001. To achieve all CICD deployment with Canary, we must do really a lot of stuff. But to do that, Flagger will help us and do all this stuff for us. All code files which I have used inside of my Kubernetes cluster, I pushed to GitHub repository, which you show in page right now. And I will paste link to the comments after preparation of the video, of course. Right now, I'll try to explain manifest which I have used and then switch to deployment uh, inside of party, which I will show. The deployment versions which I am using in my application, v001, v002, and v003, sorry, and I'm trying to show them. As you see, we have three deployment files right now. And horizontal pod scaling object, it's this similar, which I said before, you can find a lot of information. And the most important part is flagger application YAML file. And I will explain, of course, this file right now. But before that, please go step by step with the readme. I will go to, right now to myself. I'm going to install Flagger. I'm going to define which, in which namespace it will be installed and which uh, metric service will be used. And actually, at, at the deployment type, uh, time of the Istio, it automatically brings for, for us Grafana and Prometheus. That's why I'm going to use the same Prometheus. And uh, then install load tester tool, create namespace for my application. It's this place where I'm located, uh, my um, Docker uh, containers. Actually, it's private Docker registry, but I will public them after preparation of the video. Percent volume for my DB, it's simple stuff actually. App and deployment. <coughs> Sorry, but here I am going to split my screen with Tmax and execute all these commands in a parallel to show what's happening at the deployment time of the new version. And at the same time, in another screen with the Tmax, I will execute these commands to show real output of the logs and to see really what's happening when new version of the application comes to our Kubernetes cluster. And let me switch to the part. This is part the page. I will quickly show log outputs of the page which I have executed for each of them commands, but just look at here, I'm going to execute from readme file. It is going to 
Describe canaries flag application, this custom resource definition inside of company MSS namespace with an MMS house and read last two lines. And second one is going to get flagger application, uh, canary application in company MSS namespace and we will see real progress of the deployment time in canary, what's happening at the deployment time. And this is service ports and deployment objects inside of company MSS. And it's, I'm going to read, of course, log test, log output, what's happening at the deployment of new version. And we can see all these commands here. But right now, let me switch to the Flagger app and explain itself, then switch to the old stuff. I will not explain all this stuff line by line, but the most important part, it's our deployment, the name MS Aus, Horizontal port scaling object with the same name, service in which port it works and backend which port ports will be used, and analysis its interval and threshold range with step weight first 20%, then second 20%, third 60 when it will be 60. After 60, it will increase all traffic to new version if, of course, everything will be fine from old to new one. But steps will start from 20, 40, 60, at the end 100% of the traffic. But at the deployment time, it will go to compare results with the success rate from our Prometheus metric servers, metric server with 200 codes if it's success and 500 codes if it's failed. But uh, we can define a template of the metrics with the recording rules. As we see, we have latency metrics, which I have defined here. And for each of the increasing size of the percentage of deployment, I mean canary size of the traffic steps, interval will be one minute. We will see in a deployment time, of course. What is it? It's a webhook, which we go use Flagger load tester application, which I deployed inside of Istio namespace, Istio system namespace, and our application Canary service name inside of company MSS. With he, it's like as Apache Benchmark 2, which will load our service in real environment. It's not our real service name. Actually, all traffic comes to in a real users with, to, to the service with the name MS House, but in a deployment time. Our Canary application, I mean this flagger, will go to load our service with the name MS House Canary to the new version. If everything fine with the comparison of the result from Prometheus metric server, server of course it's going to increase size from 20 to 40, 40, 60. And after 60 it will load with the 100%, then delete old version of the application and switch all traffic to the new version of the application with the Kubernetes deployment old way, I mean blue green and rolling. I mean it's going to see the liveness readiness objects is everything if everything is fine, of course it's going to delete old port and create new one. But at this time uh, all step of the Canary deployment finished of course and we will see in real environment. Uh, just look at this page, it's previous commands, and I will clean the page, it's log output of the flagger load tester, we will see what's happening. And right now we see we have service with uh, app service, I mean MS out, MS Canary and Primary, which flagger itself created these services, I mean Primary and Canary. And Ports, of course, with the, with the same names, like as in service and deployments, with the same name, like as service. But right now, inside of MS Arms deployment, it is scaled down to the zero, and we will see why. And let me switch to the another page. In the left side of the Tmax in this session, I have created one port, and inside of this port, I am going to execute a URL get request to real, just imagine, it's like a real domain and real endpoint which real users works right now. Right now, the real user service name is MS House with company MSS. I'm going to check version from version endpoint each one second. If I will execute this command, as we see, even from 
deployment MS hours primary output we can see version endpoint get request comes from here of course comes and there is only version 001 okay I'm going to apply the second version and go to look at the first session what's happening here after some time our flagger up will see really new version is detected and start deployment it will take nearly one minute because each one minute is going to check it as we see new version is detected it's going to initialize ports, create new replica set which defined inside of deployment. It's two actually. And look at this wait. After one minute, it will be 20%. It is 20%. If I if we will see, of course, the result right now, some of the traffic comes to the new version, the 002, as you see here. But most of them goes to the 001. As you see. Then again, after one minute, it will switch traffic to 40%, and we will see output of the he load test session, of course. But I will pause it near to six seconds, I will return. Look at this 40%, he load tester started, and I'm switching back. Look at this. It started to send more traffic than before to the version 002. Not 50 50, 60 50, 40 60, of course, which we saw there. I will pause video again because when it comes to nearly 6 seconds, I will back. Look at this 60%, load tester started again, and it will be repeated. After 60 seconds, of course, I will pause and back again, and even we can see from output. The version 002 started to be more than before. I will back after 20 seconds. Look at this. It is going to copy MS House company system template to primary. Right now, it's going to deploy like as blue green with the rolling. I mean, default deployment type of the Kubernetes, not like as canary, because all tests was successful. That's why it's going to delete old version of the application and copy from old one to the new one with a one by one, of course, standard way, classic way. And I will pause, of course, video because after 60 seconds, we will see. Even from output, we can see not right now because it's not deleted and um, return back after 20 seconds as we see it's going to route all traffic to the new one finalizing and we will see to the output right now oh, sorry. you can see from here all traffic goes to the 002 and at the same time we can see after 30 seconds it will go to the lead deployment tabs the scale down of the pod count from 2 to the 0 I mean. even I will pause and return back when it will start and 
as you see it is zero right now and that's it. I hope it will be useful to all of us. Thank you for watching.